If you've ever taken the plunge into the multiplayer world of Poppy's Beginning after cracking the single player campaign, you may have found yourself in an unfamiliar situation. Getting rinsed by experienced players is pretty familiar if you've ever played any online game before, but no longer having access to your favourite spells, followers and buildings can certainly instill a sense of loss and the unknown upon you. Most players host games with the same set of restrictions in every game they play, but this was never Bullfrog's intent. Each map created by Bullfrog had a different set of spells and buildings available to the player, highlighting the fact that some spells and buildings are perhaps better suited for certain worlds, or that the map creator had a vision of how the map should be played and the restrictions are set to match said vision. It may not be too far-fetched to suggest that the most popular multiplayer maps that are flat, symmetrical and with one or two lanes have been created to suit the restrictions that have been imposed on new players for almost two decades. In this new series, I'm going to play through all of Bullfrog's own maps and play them with their recommended restrictions. This way, both you and myself will be able to determine if their creations made sense and we've been playing the game incorrectly for 20 years, or if certain spells and buildings are just too powerful and the current multiplayer restrictions are just the fairest way to play the game. First up is the two player map, Hills Divide Us. Players start on opposite sides of the world with two hills separating them in the center, along with a passage that cuts directly through the middle of the hills. On top of each hill, there is a stone head, one containing flatten and the other containing erode. Blast, Convert, Ghost Army, Swarm, Invisibility, Magical Shield, Lightning, Hypnotize and Tornado are the spells available on this map, whilst all buildings except for the Boat Hut and the Balloon Hut are available. Initial impressions are that without the presence of any land altering spells nor any vehicles being present, the hills are going to play a very important role in maintaining map presence and security on this world. With the tribes being so close together, the lack of powerful destructive spells shouldn't affect gameplay too much as trained followers and their support spells are likely to play a more important role in both offense and defense. Now, we're going to jump directly into the gameplay to see how this world plays out. Alright. Restrictions like these, it's certainly going to be a troop game. And we've got to pay attention to try and pay attention to what the opposing player is doing. I grab this pile here, and then I want to get up this hill. I'm just gonna bring this back. Bring the wood back. Quickly get these buildings built as quickly as possible. Back over this way. Oh, they managed to survive, brilliant. Come on, get moving, guys. I should uh, pay a bit more attention. Now, there's no terraforming spells either, so obviously... It's all about hill control, map control, kind of... I'm presuming that's what the creators were going for here. Go straight for huts. I'm going straight for trading huts. I want to build too many towers. I'd rather use the wood. Build buildings. Try and get a tower up here. Off his temple now. It's building the tower down here. Him make it play up there. Get the men up. There's no big spells so I can I can build quite close like this, I think. Bring the wood straight. I don't I don't want them running down here to gather wood. 
Oh, I don't know how I survived that. Up. Why isn't that guy not shooting? Probably put the pilots down first before I start to do this. Okay, my shaven's now died. I kind of think this is how the, the games would work with these restrictions. It's all about just fast action. I just thinking I could build here. I guess he uses mana just to defend though, so... I will try and expand this way now. Now we get some map control, a couple of towers here. Then go for a tornado to try and get the temple. Yeah, hopefully doing some damage. Do any breaches? No. Figure that out. Breaches are all gone. I've to some more. Now I need to start dismantling. I don't want to dismantle these because they run quite high up, but I don't have to. Get a preacher. Bring out the tower. Could have a higher population than me right now. Why I feel like it's imperative to dismantle. Just get more huts down. Like I say, there's no earthquakes. The stone heads do have flatten and erode, but it's not worth I need the men to be actually building right now. I don't want them. It's really need some more creatures for defense. Fire right now. So that does some damage. I think there's a breach with this foot here. Okay, I'm not going to cast any more blasts. Get back to me, tower. Definitely need some more fire warriors. Skew this position. I'm gonna go for go for some warriors. He hasn't got warriors, so as long as you don't get hit by the preachers. Get these preacher and three braves, yes. Just a 
Ich komme eine. Oh, the shots are horrible. Let's try and stay alive next to my tower here. Let's try and get another one. Give me a shave moving there. I don't want to get him picked off and then him going for a counter attack. Like over here. If he wants to get my shaman there, uh, get this tower, you're gonna have to cast ghosts or something else. Yeah, I get warriors here. I know there's a preacher there, but. Oh man, keep saying it. Shaman's over that way. I'm gonna make a play down here. Over some more magical shields. That guy. What's he doing? Shaman's coming over. Can't come this, so I've got too much control here. Hang on to that tower there. Yeah. Now, his side might struggle for wood. I'm not too sure, but he can take from the top if he needs to. A lot of trouble now. Take out the I'm gonna go for the temple uh, once I get. I hope we need a single shit. Okay, that'll do. You might have a hypnotize. Get the tempo now. Demons down. I'm gonna fight my own men now. Can they get down there? Yeah, they can. Can these fire warriors down and then put the idle ones in the tower. We'll get these braves. Yeah, I think he's in trouble now. It's not gonna happen. I need to sustain this. Well, guys, um, and it, it's certainly a, a different to the, the the norm of populism in the beginning. And it's quite fun, actually. I mean, it's probably not fun. It's everything. Actually, it's probably always fun when you're winning. But uh, it certainly requires different a different strategy. And you know, trade and it puts more emphasis on having trade and followers than what the. The normal game actually does, you know, if I was building more and whatnot and expanding as well, multitasking, even bigger because you're constantly attacking with your troops, you got your shame to look after, you got your building uh, to continue, so yeah, go for invisibility now. Get them invisibility for two fire warriors would be good. Warrior there. 
see if we can just tower up here. Still hanging on though, which is good to see. Got me invisibility now. I only want the one, so we can magical. I forget we can actually magical shield and invis, which is naughty to me. But yeah, he's got no trend. He's got no troops now. And invisibility, invisibility doesn't actually work on um, doesn't actually work on. What am I trying to hypnotize? Doesn't work on invisible men. Some some bizarre reason. That's a strange choice. If we're trying blast me, it's not going to do anything. Can I just select me fire warriors? <laughs> it's difficult to select them when they're. Uh... Oh, that's great. And then the men over. Back at the big hoods. Been picked. Oh, I should been picked up there. Yeah, and the only buildings that weren't available were the vehicles, so we didn't even use spies. I mean, who's going to use spies? Let's be honest, guys. Oh, nice shot, buddy. Nice shot. I've been terrible with my shaman scare skills this game, but that's the kind of the point with these restrictions. It's uh, not entirely dependent on your shaman skills. You know, it takes everything else into play, which is kind of what Poppus was all about. So I think initially we're playing this level with, with the restrictions that have been um, given to us by Bullfrog. These are Bullfrog's own restri uh, restrictions for this map. Kind of, kind of work. I mean, the hills do divide us. You know, we can't use Lambridge and Earthquake and Erode and Flatten well, at least without getting the stone heads. Um, I think this one is Erode. That could be Flatten. One or the other. And it's more just trying to manipulate the land in your favour if you do get those spells. I mean, Erode's massively underpowered. It's not really what you can do with an Erode. Flatten, I suppose you can try. Maybe flatten a couple of flattens over here to get rid of the middle, but you can still actually walk up the sides. It's not completely impossible to pass. No one in this tower. Faster. Oh! And the tower's gone anywhere. Beautiful. I'm a gone. It's a ticket. I'm out of the water. That's a visibility on me there. It's just a unit here, I think. There we go. Hills divided us. GG. Okay. Alright, guys, that's the first episode of this series. As Bullfrog intended. And this is from the, the beginning map pack, which is the multiplayer map pack created by both of themselves with the original game. Ship with the original game. So, yeah, you let me know what you think about the restrictions of this level. Now, we've got another few more 1v1 maps, then we've got uh, three player maps, and then the 2v2 four player maps to experience with their restrictions as well. So, we've got a good 20 or so maps to, to make our way through. All right, I hope to see you in the next one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Take care, yourselves.